MCS Madden kickoff tournament was this weekend. team I use this is what I brought into battle let's take a look at it I'm using the Seattle Seahawks playbook I'm using actually the 4-6 defense but this is the team I used we got Devin Hester full we are max level 50 Devin Hester I have route tech and deep in a lead on him to make sure he catches deep post routes deep down the field uh, I have Josh Allen this is probably the biggest move that I made was take Josh Allen over that new Daniel Jones uh, there's something about Josh Allen he's a strong arm quarterback archetype he just throws the ball with a lot more velocity. He has a lot more oomph on his deep passes, man. You'll see that throughout some of these tournament games. Much better option as opposed to Daniel Jones as far as just getting the ball out there and really bombing coverages. Uh, that's why we chose to me, uh, Skimbo, and the boys chose to go with Josh Allen over Daniel Jones. Even though Daniel Jones is super fast, and if you're using him, you like him, go ahead. I'm not telling you he's better. But for, for us, for me, I like Josh Allen better. LT, we have... Uh, backfield mismatch, so he can't be guarded out of the backfield. And also, Josh Allen, if you didn't see, we have set feet lead, that ability on him. He throws the ball faster when you lead pass. Brandon Marshall is going to play the slot. He has short and elite, mid and elite. Those allow him to get better route running and better catching on short and mid routes out of the slot, like corner routes, in routes, things of that nature. Um, then we have Tyreek Hill. I like Tyreek Hill over Jamar Chase because Tyreek Hill has 90-plus deep route running, deep posts, deep streaks, everything deep down the field is going to be a little bit better but these two are kind of interchangeable between chase and tyreek uh, i'm not too sure whichever one you like go with but marshall and hester are the two best wide receivers in the game well and we also have derrick henry to, to pound the ball in our o-line is pretty good i use the post up ability that helps your double teams i actually use this ability called natural talent on ryan ramshack he's he's not as good as tyron smith so i gave him an ability it starts with all your pass rush points don't really ask me what it does, but I kind of had a free one AP and it helps him block. So hope we went with George Kittle over Kyle Pitts. Pitts is faster, but George Kittle is just an absolute stud. And we have short in a lead on him. That's going to allow him to run his short routes a lot better, catch them better, and just really be unguardable in man coverage. So that's why we went on the offensive side of the ball. Take a look at the defense. We're going to be rocking the 3-3-5 wide. That's pretty much the meta defense going forward. We got Buda, 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 Baker. New card just came out. Nine. He's about 91 speed. He's a little bit short, uh, so he's not the best. And we got Ed Reed. We play him at corner because he's so fast. Then we got Marlon Humphrey in the slot, Darrell Revis on the outside, Minka Fitzpatrick at the other safety spot. We're going to use her, uh, Mo Rig, the rookie premier. That guy's an absolute stud. So those are my five DBs along with Mo Rig that I'll use her. Linebacker, we're going to run Micah Parsons, a little bit of JOK. We're going to mix it. We have DeMarcus Ware as well. Uh, D-line, we got Von Miller. We got Michael Strahan. We have Aaron Donald. Uh, this is a 50 or 25 Jets theme team, so all the Jets are a little bit faster. Um, Ed Reed, Brandon Marshall, LT, all those guys a lot bit faster. Um, they'll definitely help. Darrell Rivas, Ed Reed are the big ones. Special teams, we got Tucker, Jets kicker. We're Jets punter. We're not punting the ball, so... Uh, and then we also have the strategy cards. If you guys don't have these, these are a big deal. We have two in the zone. This gives two speed to your DBs and two deep route specialists gives you two speed to your wide receivers. Helps you get the max speed possible. But, yeah, that's the team I brought. Let's get into these games. I got four games to show you guys, man. When each video gets to 500 likes, I will drop the next game. All right, boys, here we go. I'm be honest with you, it's going to be a lot of voiceovers. This was a tournament game, so... I'm kind of super chilling as far as, you know, not talking to a chat, not really talking that much. I'm locked in. Only a few little emotional outbursts throughout a game like this, man. You pretty much lock in. I'll be honest. I didn't listen to music. I just, I had, you know, I didn't have anything on my headphones. Just the game sound for the most part. Uh, but you see this guy starts off with the ball. It's always good kicking off first because, you know, you get the ball at half. No matter what happens, you'll get a built-in stop in the game. So that's what getting ball at half means. You have a built-in stop, essentially. Uh, so, uh, for me, just trying to make people work. I mean, defense on this game right now is really tough. Uh, everybody's trying to find it. So, I pretty much just chill, play a cover three, try to rush five, four, three, something, and just try to keep everything in front of me. No big plays. You see, this guy is really patient. Uh, the way he just, just spread the field, hit curls, hit corner routes. You see right here to Devin Hester up top. Uh, trip side end, you guys, if they space the field really well, it's tough to guard. And here he goes to the bunch and actually hits the out route right there to Kyle Pitts. That was 
that drive I was looking back man that was a little bit too easy and it's the pro like getting the ball at half is great but when someone goes right down the field to score seven that's definitely rough and can set the tone for a game but uh, we're feeling good we hit the out route right here b marsh i told you guys about him i use him in the slot he gets it done right here i see a little blitz we're going to dump it off the lt i use lt because he's the fastest i really love christian mccaffrey but lt is just way too fast not to use here we're going to get screamed at in the backfield get us to a third and five Dump the ball off to LT again. Stop so I don't go out of bounds. We get hit, but we pick up the first down. Expect my new Jets legend, LaDainian and Tomlinson, to hold on to the ball. Here we saw a little cover two. So we're going to roll out. Hit the wheel route, Devin Huster. He makes a nice tackle inside the 10. Red zone is where you win games. It's where you, it's where you, your bread is buttered in Madden, man. If you can score inside the 15, inside the 10, you will be really successful. Here we try to go to LT. Whew, lucky that one wasn't picked off bounced up. We're going to go back to the same play. We're going to just make a little better read right here. Hit Brandon Marshall to tie the game up. But listen, we're not going to go to this tournament looking to tie the game up. As we're going to go for two points here, take a one-point lead, and we're going to dump the ball off over here to LT. Low ball caught. Two-point is good. We're up by one. That could make some people nervous. It could make them speed up. I mean, they're, they really fried me. But at the end of the day, they're looking at the scoreboard, and they're losing. So here he goes. He's blocking the tight end. Gives himself all day here. He's going to scramble with Daniel Jones across the line. I talked about that Daniel Jones. We went with Josh Allen. So Daniel Jones is uh, a lot of people are liking him using a quarterback. Comment below who you have a quarterback right now. Who do you like? Uh, like I said, if you like Aaron the ball out throwing deep, I would definitely look into keeping that Josh Allen as Micah Parsons blasts Kyle Pitts right there. We're going to get some pressure here off the edge, but he hits the flat underneath. Brandon Marshall bounces off a couple. Actually picks up four yards on that play. He gets a second down. It's just... He's really spacing the field really well. He's going to scramble again with Daniel Jones. Pick up a couple. Get him to a third and manageable. That's going to take us to the two-minute warning already. He's going to send out a lot of people. We tried to go with a match there. He hits the hitch underneath. This dude is really uh, finding pretty much every soft spot in the defense right now. Here we play good defense. Nothing doing. Rolls out, throws the ball away. You see he used his that tight end delay really well, too. Here, man, if a man is going to throw a smoke screen, you know, it's going to be tough to play some defense on that guy. But here we get to third and three. Can we get off the field? No, a little sleepy with my user. Didn't see that post coming backside. Hits it. He's inside the 20. This is where we get our, this is where we butter our bread. Click off Daniel Jones scrambles again. I don't use timeouts. You see people here use timeouts to really try to get the ball back. I say, you know, this is the last drive. I know I get the ball a half and, you know, I know where you're going to be forced. If you milk, you're going to run out of time. You see him slowly running out of time here. We play great defense again. This time, Jamal. Oh, oh! Jamal Adams with a huge hit. Charring the Man. ball loose, and we get the ball. We, he gets no points right there, and we're cool going to halftime. Up by one. That's a huge play from my defense. Just, once again, holding the door inside the 10 and being able to score inside the 10 is what's going to win and lose you games, man. You guys can have the worst defense in the world, but if you can hold the door inside the 10, you'll be doing well. We hit LT here. Got to make a play. They got to make break a tackle right there. That could have been a bigger play if LT breaks the tackle. Once again, we're going up top. Hester, we saw press one-on-one, -on -one and Hester gets by the corner Get out of there then has let's go man huge play gonna go for two again to take a two possession lead but we're actually shedded right there we tried to hit our tight end oh our two point conversion came back to bite us right there we went to two again try to go up 16 to 7 and go up two scores but we're up a touchdown so we're okay we're in good spot uh this guy has really moved the ball pretty much i don't want to say effortlessly but i mean that's the word i got to use he's really found the right people and we see the corner route such a big deal here in Madden. Oh, ain't no way. Uh, the deep blue zones on the on the thirds really don't play that well. On, Even that is just a completion here. underneath. Big tackle though. Nice tackle. Another man, delay man, route. Man, come on with this stupid fucking game right now. No, man. it's like, dude, it's no way. It's he's really taking what is available to him. Low ball. I mean, how many passes under 10 yards? Like, it really sucks. But I mean. We're, we're, we're getting killed slowly here, but he actually, that's just a bad user. I went with the oh! big hit, though. But here we go. Inside the 10, can we hold the door? We run commit right here. Stop Derrick Henry before he gets going. Five-yard line. Second and goal. Let's hold the door again. Nothing doing. He looks for the out route again. All over. We're all over everything. Two-man rush. He's going to try to force it. And pick, 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 pick. Thank you, man. Marlin. Oh, that's where we win games, play. Man. That's where we win games. Down there inside the five. If I go get points here, it's going to end the game. It's going to put the game away. Of course, I can't run, you know. I'm just not allowed to run. You guys know me. My account is glitched. They don't let me run. 
We're going to dump the ball off here to LT. Pick up a couple yards. We're closing in on fourth quarter. Would love to take this game to the fourth quarter. Love to get points as well. And here's the game right here. Josh Allen. That's why we got him. That's why we got him. That's why we got him. Baja. Let's go, man. Big play. Josh Allen. Devin Hester. I talked about that route tech and that deep in elite along with Josh Allen over Daniel Jones. And you see right there, beautiful pass. From Josh Allen to that Devin Hester. Putting me up 14 points. Closing in the fourth quarter here. You see on the top of the screen I have all the momentum in the game. Really doing a good job. Like I said, he's really moved the ball well. But he's peppered inside 10 yards. And as a defensive player, I don't want to say you can live with that. But, I mean, you, you, you can't you can't cry about it. Now, those are the type of passes you don't want to give up. The corner routes. But we're, we're staying in the game. We're staying hard. Another tight end delay. Kyle Pitts. Just tackle him. Make him use 20 seconds. Oh my God, Nothing more dude. frustrating than getting. I mean, this is getting killed by a thousand, a thousand daggers right here rather than one knife to the neck. Just, but at the end of the day, boys, tick, 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 tick. A lot of this video is me running around in the middle of my with my users doing absolutely nothing. So, if you want to watch this video back and watch my user do literally absolutely nothing the entire game, watch it. Oh my God, get this guy! I don't think I ever you cut. Here we go again on my user. Just I kind of covered B. I kind of okay, little good lurk there, but we get the ball dumped off inside the ten. This is where we win. I told you this is where we win right here. Tries to throw a corner route, Humphrey. That's where we win games down there. That's where we win games. GG's. That's going to cook it. All right here, I'm just going to run the ball, try to take some time off the clock. Out here, I take out, but I should get out of bounds. But you know I get pushed out, so that stops the clock. Not the smartest move as we run another stretch over here to the right. LT gets, gets tackled, but we're going to take this next run here to the two-minute warning for sure. Another stretch left. With nice move. We get up the middle. Boom. We get a third down right here. We're going to run another stretch. He, ta he bottles it up. Actually uses one of his timeouts, so that's good. We're going to punt the ball away and say, go ahead, buddy. You can have the ball. We'll put you down here inside the 10-yard line. Beautiful punt by me, man. All three phases. Got to be able to do Yo, it all. And now it's just just let him just – if you want to keep throwing under 10 yards, I think he's going to have over 30 completions this game. Just let him keep throwing. You know, every little keep completion and bounds is going to be 20 seconds off the clock. That's really the most important thing now is just the clock. I think at this point of the game, I go with 30-yard flats and two deep halves. So I'm really playing like prevent right here. Just letting them throw on the knee. Try to rally, make some tackles because uh, if I can get them to use another timeout or get this under a minute, this game is pretty much over without an onside kick. Uh, but we get him to a fourth down. He just dumps it off again. He stays in bounds. That's a great tad. Another 20 seconds is going to run off the clock. Flat route again, nothing. Every the four, you see this game's over. This game is cooked as long as I don't give up a bomb. Even with that big hit over by Buddha, 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 Buddha Baker. Under 30 seconds left in this game. This game is cooked. He rolls out intentional ground and gets to a fourth and long. Third and 20, nothing doing again. He gets hit, balls out. Fourth and 20 for his torment tournament life. He's gonna drop back with Daniel Jones and we finally get some sheds. Tackle him sack them ggs that's going to end the game like i said boys if you go ahead and you put up there and we get 500 likes i will drop the next gameplay man i appreciate all the love you guys been showing on the youtube this tournament was great i hope you guys don't get to watch the next couple games